And it's challenging Governor Newsom in the expected recall election is growing. KTVU political reporter Greg Lee spoke with three of the Republicans who joined the race early about what they expect. When California's Secretary of State announced organizers had gathered enough valid signatures to qualify for a recall election of Governor Newsom, Republicans aiming for his seat responded quickly. When I heard that, I said, one day closer to freedom. This is about real people who have lost their jobs, they've lost their businesses, their kids are sitting on a screen. I, I think it sends a very strong message that Californians want to change at the top and they want it, want it now. Among the quickly growing field of those who want to replace Newsom are prominent Republicans John Cox, Doug Osi, and Kevin Falconer. While the recall drive wasn't started because of COVID, it gained steam with people frustrated by Newsom's approach to the pandemic. All three candidates I spoke to point to school reopenings in particular. Kids going to school only two days a week for several hours a day. That's unconscionable. It's time to have a governor that understands how important it is to get our schools open now. That would have been such a signal difference from what we have today, where we're still struggling in many cases to get kids back to school. And I think it really hit home to a lot of parents that it's not the parents and the kids that are the most important thing in the uh, school systems, it's, it's the politicians. This is the second time Cox has run for governor. He faced Newsom in 2018 and lost by 23 percentage points. Cox believes this time will be different. Go down the middle and make life better for people. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what everybody should want? And that's what I want. And that's, you know, I think why people are going to look at this differently. After a short stint in the 2018 race, former California Congressman Doug Osi is back. He believes the state is going in the wrong direction. The homelessness continues to grow. You know, the cost of health care continues to rise. The ability of parents to secure a solid education for their children in public K-12 remains under severe duress. Former San Diego Mayor Kevin Falconer points to his efforts in San Diego, a majority Democrat city, addressing police reform, homelessness, and his focus on issues, not political affiliation. I'm looking forward to talking about, you know, the track record that I was able to do as mayor, the results that we're able to get. This is somebody who's been elected twice in the second largest city in California, who again can bring people together to actually get the job done. A new Public Policy Institute of California poll may give the governor some confidence he can beat back the crowd of contenders. 59% of likely voters approve of how he's managed school reopenings and 59% approve of his handling of jobs and the economy. We're going to defeat the recall. We're going to defeat the recall. We're going to focus on getting people back to work. We're going to focus people getting back fully in-person instruction in our schools. We're going to get this economy uh, moving again. And of course, paid for by the Republican National Committee. Newsom tweeted this anti-recall ad moments after the effort qualified. He continues to call the Republican-led effort partisan and pro-Trump. These are not partisan issues. This is a question of competence of management, competence of leadership. And on those standards, uh, Newsom has failed. Typical politician. Frankly, I mean, can he step outside his little bubble? I think the governor wants to make it about anything other than his failed track record. At this weekend's California Democratic Party convention, unified support for Governor Newsom, including from Vice President Harris. Greg Lee, KTVU, Fox 2 News.